Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful and pretty stitch. This is a very easy stitch. You can use this stitch for rectangular shawl, scarf or any summer projects. You can use this stitch for women's top also. Okay, this is the back side of the stitch and this is the front side of the stitch. This looks little complicated but it is very easy once you understand the concept. Okay, so uh, I am using E3.5 mm hook. First I have to make a slip knot to start the pattern. Make a chain 22. The chain should be multiples of 4 plus 2. Multiples of 4 is 20 plus 2 22. So just create 22 chains. I have created 22 chains now. I am going to add extra 1 chain. Now skip the first chain and make a single crochet in the next chain. And then single crochet in every chain till the end of this row. You should get 22 single crochet at the end. Okay. So just continue making a single crochet like this. In every chain end so i've completed with 22 single crochets now i'm going to make chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 turn your work yarn over two times in the next stitch this is the first one okay in the next stitch here you have to insert a hook and pull the yarn okay like this pull through first two loops and then Okay, yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops and yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops so you should get six loops in the hook now yarn over pull through first four loops like this and then yarn over pull through first two loops and yarn over pull through last two loops like this okay now yarn over in the stitch you have to make a puff stitch so first one then yarn over insert the hook this is a second and third and yarn over this is the fourth time so you have to make a puff stitch like this pull through all the loops okay now chain two and then yarn over two times and insert the hook in the next stitch so you have to work on next to four stitches so insert the hook in the next stitch here pull the yarn pull through first two loops and yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops so you should get six loops in the hook again you have to do yarn over pull through first four loops and then yarn over pull through first two loops and then pull through last two loops okay now you have to make a puff stitch in the stitch so four times puff stitch you have to make so you have to repeat the pattern like this you have to work on every four stitches this pattern now pull through all the loops now chain two so just repeat the same for remaining all the stitches
now you have to do the remaining stitches till the end with the same pattern okay so four triple crochet together stitches and puff stitch then chain two just follow the same till the end so i have completed okay now i am going to make a puff stitch in the last triple crochet stitches like this and then chain one make a triple crochet in the next stitch to finish this round so yarn over two times insert the hook in the last stitch pull through first two loops now pull through next two loops pull through last two loops so we have completed two rows okay now you have to start making on single crochet so chain one turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch and then the next chain one space make one single crochet so you have to work on one single crochet in chain one space two single crochet in chain two space and two single crochet in each puff stitch okay so now you have to make two single crochet in the puff stitch so this is the first single crochet and in the puff stitch you can see here the next stitch have to do the second single crochet and then the next chain two space here make two single crochet and then puff stitch you have to do two single crochet so here one single crochet and then next stitch one single crochet like this and then in the chain two space here make two single crochet so like that you have to follow the same you should get 22 single crochet at the end okay so please make sure you should get a 22 single crochet to make a single crochet in the space next space here and then again last single crochet in the triple crochet stitch so make sure you should get a 22 single crochet in this round okay so this single crochet count and this single crochet count should be same now chain 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 now you have to follow the same pattern as in the row 2 okay so yarn over two times you have to do the triple crochet in the four stitches so first stitch you can skip so from next stitch onwards you have to make a triple crochet together this is the first stitch and second stitch third stitch fourth one so pull through first two loops now you have to do yarn over pull through first four loops and then pull through next two loops and pull through last two loops now you have to do the puff stitch so just repeating the pattern like this Now chain 2 then again do the same till the end of this row.
so you just continue with the similar pattern till the end of this row okay like the same way so four triple crochet puff stitch four triple crochet together puff stitch so i have completed now i'm going to do chain one triple crochet in the last stitch okay now chain one this row is exactly similar to row three so row three pattern we have to follow here so single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in the first chain one space then two single crochet in the puff stitch so one two and then the chain two space here make two single crochet and then again puff stitch two single crochet so this row also you should get 22 single crochet so every alternative row please make sure you count it you should get a 22 single crochet and then proceed with the pattern okay so just to repeat a row two and row three for getting the nice and pretty design okay this is a very beautiful it looks very classy design you can definitely try this one just repeating the two rows pattern and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so finally this is the design it looks like okay so you, you should know the triple crochet together and puff stitch for this pattern okay so and please make sure the count of the single crochet row that is also it's a main thing of this pattern okay so if you really like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon i have given my facebook link and insta link in the description you can follow me in facebook and insta okay so please share this video to your crochet friends so this is the back side of the stitch and this is the front side of the stitch okay so thank you very much for watching my tutorial